Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process how to install Chrome OS on any PC. This process is gonna be easy and without USB drive and without any error. So without getting much more delayed, let's get started. First of all, what you're gonna check is CQB is disabled and your PC is into UEFI BIOS mode. And obviously your hard drive must be in GPT format. So to find out your disk partition, just right click on the store menu and select disk management and then just select your disk zero and right click on it select properties and then click on volumes and here you can find disk provision style that is GUID and it's called GPT that means it's okay if you don't have a disk drive into GPT you won't able to install the Chrome OS on your PC so close it and now what you're gonna do is open the browser and search for Chromos space cross tech and here is the website Chromos update open it and here is the track suppose you're using Intel Agent 2 9 processor then you're gonna download a Saviena and if you're on 10 gen Intel processor then you're gonna download Genelon and if you're on Intel 11 gen and above then you're gonna download Voxel and if you're using AMD processor, then you're going to download Gumbos. So let me show you how to download. Click in here. But before downloading, minimize this. And right click on this PC and click on properties. And here you're going to check your processor. In my case, it is AMD Ryzen 5600G. If you're unable to find out here, close it. What you're gonna do is right click on the taskbar and select task manager and click on here and here you can see the processor name it's AMD Ryzen 5600G that means my processor is AMT if you're still unable to discover you can use CPUZ application just open the browser and search for CPUZ and here it is go to the website and from there, download the English version. Click on English setup. Close the ad. Now click on download now. And it's downloaded. You can see. So when it's downloaded, open it and install it. Click on yes. And accept terms and conditions. Click on next. Next. And finally, it's installing. That's it. Close the pages and minimize this. Click on finish and the application will be launched. Okay, close it. Now double tap on the icon CPUZ on the desktop and the application will be pinned. Click on yes. And you're gonna wait here 10 to 15 seconds. Now here you go. Here you can see your processor details, everything else. Here is the specifications of your processor. In my case, it is AMD Ryzen 5600G. And whatever processor you're using, it will be shown right here. Okay, now again, go back to the browser. Since I'm using AMD processor, then I'm gonna download Gumbos. And here it is, Gumbos. And here you can see, there are many different versions. Every time you're gonna download stable one. And now, whenever you click on here, a download will be started. The downloading has been started. You're gonna wait here till the download is completed. Now again, open another tab and again search for branch get up. And here is the first website. Click on here and the site will be loaded. And here you can see 143 stable is there and since it downloaded the latest recovery, also I'm gonna download the point the latest one. Now click on the latest here and we're on the latest page. So what you're gonna download is tor.dz. Click on here and download will be started. It started. Now you're gonna wait until the download is completed. It will take 30 minutes to one hour depending on your internet speed. Now everything's downloaded. 
Now I'm going to do is close the browser. Now, right click on the stop menu, select disk management. And here, you're going to do is create a new drive to install the Chrome OS. So here is a catch. If you want to allocate 100 gigabytes to your Chrome OS drive, then it's going to give 120 gigabytes free space. So, as I mentioned, I want to allocate 100 gigabytes to Chrome OS. So I'll take 125 gigabytes free space. Right click in the bigger drive. So like showing volume. Now, I've taken my size as 125 gigabytes and click on shrink. Now you can see 124 gigabyte size is created as an allocated. Now, what you're gonna do is right click on the drive. Select to new simple volume. Next, next, next. And put the drive name as Chrome OS and click on next. Click on finish. And now you can see it's done. A new folder volume is created. Close it. Now, go to this PC and go to downloads. And here, select your branch and Chrome OS. Now right click on them, select cut. And go to this PC again, and go to the Chrome OS drive. And right click on here, paste them. Now it's done. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do is, Right click on the Chrome OS file and select extract. Extract it. Now we'll take approximately one minute. Now after deleting, select the folder and rename it as anything. Okay, go to the folder. Now open the folder, select it and select cut and go back and paste it here let's paste it now you can delete the folder now it's okay right click on the recycle bin and select empty recycle bin else it will kill your storage resources now minimize this okay now click on start and open the ubuntu application now go to this command and copy the first command now right click in here and it's pasted hit enter now what you're gonna do is put your Ubuntu password and hit enter now it will get the update process now it's done now again get rid of this command sheet and copy the second line and paste here and hit enter now, type Y and hit enter. It's working. Now it's done. Now again, copy the third line. Right click and paste it, hit enter. It's done too. Now what you're gonna do is open this PC again. And here you can see Chrome OS is tribe name is D. So what you're gonna do is, let me copy this first line and paste here. Here the last one D is the tribe name. If in a case the tribe name is E, B or anything else, you're gonna type here in small letter. Now hit enter. Now you can see we're into the D tribe. Now you're gonna type LS. Hit enter. Now everything is there. Let me put this like this. Now, this is the branch name. Select the branch name. And on your keyboard, press Ctrl plus C. And the name is copied. Now, select this line. And right click. And paste. It's done. Again, here is the Chrome OS name. Select the Chrome OS name until bin. Again, type Control plus C and it's copied. 
and here select from Chrome OS to dub bin right click and paste now it's done now you can rename it whatever you want I'm putting the name as Chrome OS IMG and after race put a space and put the size of your drive as I mentioned earlier I put the size as 124 gigabytes so I'll give here 100 gigabytes 100 means 100 gigabytes in size now it's done now now copy this line and copy and paste it here hit enter now it's working now it's done now what you're gonna do is select this last line and right click and copy now here right click on it paste it hit enter now you're gonna do is wait for 30 to 40 minutes to complete the process now you can see it's done now when it is done what you're gonna do is select this dual boot control plus C it's copied and right click in here and dual boot command is there double check once again dual boot is there there is no space and invalid clicks hit enter now the dual boot is there now you can close it go to this folder again and here you can see the chrome os is there chrome os the size is 100 gigabytes now you can delete the red thing except this select them and delete now close this now you can open the browser and search for grip to win and here it is the source page link open it and click on download now it's downloading now it's done now you can close the browser again now before installing the application click in here and open this windows security app if you have any antivirus, you'll have to disable the antivirus too. Go to virus and threats protection and disable everything. And then go to account protection and also disable everything. Go to firewall and network protection and disable everything. When everything is disabled, close it and go to download. And here you can see grab to win is there. Right click on here. So like extract all and extract now it's done open the folder and double tap on this application what is this? now click on more info and select to run anyway click on yes minimize this click on ok now you're gonna wait here to download now click on setup now click on close setup now here it is now in the screen the book graphics mode click on the drop down and select your resolution it is so to know your screen resolution right click on the display and select display settings here it is the display resolution 1920x1080 and this is here now click on manage boot and here click on add a new entry click on the drop down choose your sub menu and put the name as Chromeris now it is now what you're gonna do is and now click on the drop down graphics payload and choose your display resolution and now click on edit custom code and now again go to the folder and go back go back and go to this PC and edit Chrome OS and there is one file 
promos I'm to make and grab. Double tap on it, open it, and control A, and then control C, it's copied. Now, close it. Come here, right click, and paste it. Now it's done. Click on File, click on Save, and close it. Now, nothing else. Now, click on Yes. Click on, again, OK. OK. Now, OK. It's done. Click on OK. Now, click on Apply. Click on OK. And close. Now, what you're going to do is, so restore the PC and boot in the BIOS menu. To access the BIOS menu, you can do it for this photo, otherwise you can search on Google. Now let me restart my PC and boot in the BIOS menu. Now in the BIOS menu, choose advanced mode and go to boot. And prompt there, select the boot option as grab to win. Many people find problem there, and that's why I'm showing it in to the BIOS menu. And now, go to CQ boot, and make sure the CQ boot is disabled. And now, finally, click Obtain, and click on OK. Now, wait to reboot. Now, in this screen, Use the down arrow key on a keyboard and select Chrome OS, hit enter. Again, select branch and hit enter. And here, for the first time, you gotta wait here 10 to 15 minutes to complete the first boot option. Now, on the screen, what you're gonna do is connect your PC to the internet and then click on get started. Now, choose per personal use, click on next. It's checking for updates. Now click on next. Now log in with your Gmail account or you can use browser's guest. But if you want a full scale Chrome OS with the Google Play Store, then you must have to sign up with Google account. Now read all the terms and conditions and click accept and continue. Again, click accept and continue. And now, if you want to create a new password for your Chrome OS, you can click on here. Or if you want to use the same password your Google account has, you can click on here and click on next. Now, click on skip. Now, click on no thanks. Now, this is the icon size and click on next. Choose your theme and click on next. Click on get started. Now congratulations, if successfully installed Chrome OS the boot into your PC. Now here is the application drawer and finally here is the Play Store. And here it is. You can see it's a working perfect. So thanks for watching. If you have any problem or any question, please feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.